Hey everybody! Stream is starting. Who do we got here today? Hi, Ron! Welcome to the stream. Always good to have you. We are going to be doing the Labyrinth today. So I'm going to do a quick recap. Uh, between streams, I've leveled up quite a bit. I'm level 74 now. Uh, I did the second Labyrinth off camera because it's not incredibly interesting. Uh, I picked up a few of my build items. I now have my Martyr of Innocence, which was even cheaper than expected. Uh, I have Malice, an, a rare six link. Got the uh, Malagar's Veracity for Crit Multi. Got the Magnate, which was also cheaper than I expected. Uh, just have some basic rare jewelry and basic boots. And somewhat shitty flasks. I did get really lucky, though. I got a 20% uh, Eternal Flask to drop and a 16% uh, Eternal Mana Flask to drop. So, I have both of those now. I've also gotten my second, uh, quote-unquote, Ascendancy from uh, the Warden. So, I now have Bark Skin, which is pretty cool. Uh... Basically how it works is it's a 25% mana reservation in Aura. Uh, gradually, cover, gradually covers your body in bark. Getting hit by enemy attacks causes bark to be removed. You have higher armor the more bark that builds up, but higher chance to evade when less bark is covered. Or when you are covered in less bark. So I usually am sitting at 10 bark, which is an extra 150% uh, armor, which is really nice. And anytime we drop below, we get uh, some more evade chains, which is really good, too. Uh, it's going to be kind of hard to fit everything in. We don't have profane proxy, so we don't really need our skitter, our skitter bots yet. But they, I do want to have those on eventually. Unfortunately, if I allocate them, I only have five mana, so I can't actually do anything anymore, which is unfortunate. But uh, something has to be sacrificed for if I want to use bark skin. I also I've made some changes to the path of building. Let me just swap over to that. Also, path of building has updated with tinctures and stuff too, which is good. Okay, so here's the path of building. I haven't made too, too many changes. I've moved around a few points. Uh, if you want to look at them, I'm going to post the uh, build code right now in chat. Uh, the YouTube video will also have this in the description. Uh, main changes... I added a cluster duel for later on, which uh, just does a chunk of damage, and it also saves a uh, a point when uh, allocating a jewel slot, which is nice. Uh, I have decided to remove the golem from the build entirely, in exchange for putting everything that was in the gloves into the staff instead. Uh, the benefit of that is that gloves are now empty, which means that you will get a 25% increased max life modifier on your because of your gloves as a warden, which is obscenely good. Here, I'm gonna we're at 4,400 life right now. I'm gonna enable a single gem on the gloves. We drop down to 3,980. So 
it's approximately a little bit over 400 life difference. Oh, it says right here, 426 life over here. And I, having a stone golem is not worth 426 life. So I've just decided to leave that empty. And it's probably, it's honestly for the best because uh, the original idea was to put three blues into the gloves. And this is a pure green base. So that would have been a pain anyways. So we have empty gloves and empty boots. Uh, we're currently using Zoff's heart, but I have been wondering about the uh, the new amulet. There's an amulet with uh, life based on empty. Yeah, here it is. So uh, for every empty red socket, get max on any equipped item, gain maximum life. For any green socket, gain accuracy rating. For any empty blue socket gain max mana and and each empty white socket plus 18 percent to all element resistances so i have been considering this one because it would because if i can turn every all the sockets red then i could get an extra 320 flat life with that actually let me make sure that the gear is set up in a way that it'll actually show that uh, okay, these are still greens. That's what's wrong. So th this would require to get four reds on a green base, which would suck. But besides that, <laughs> let's just do that right there. Cool. Okay. Okay, so adding this would give me 665 more life. <laughs> If I have four red, uh, four red, um, uh, sockets on each thing, and if I turn any of those sockets white, I also will gain the ability to get some elemental resistances, which would take some, some suffixes off of both my boots here and my rings here. A single white socket would be enough for me to just completely remove, uh, element resistances from this ring entirely. I also split it up so that now there's advanced gear and basic gear. I uh, just kind of this is what it looks like when it's when you're starting out and then this is what it looks like when it's better. Um so like there I have uh prep modifiers and stuff on these things now. That's that's the main difference going on. That and the lack of golem. So we have functionally, technically, you if you ignore faster casting, uh, you can do a five socket martyr, which would work. Uh, if you get up to a six socket, you can do a two link with flame dash or a four link with flame dash, faster casting, portal, and flame wall, and then just two extras. One for Molten Shell, one for Righteous Fire. Uh, but since I don't have uh, Portal and I'm skipping play, uh, Faster Casting right now, I just am going to use Flame Dash, Flame Wall, uh, Molten Shell, and Righteous Fire in my staff for now. And then we have our Auras. I've removed the Defiance Aura since we're going to try to fit Bark Skin into the build. So that's going to be a bit fun, because Barkskin looks like it's a dramatically better aura than Defiance, because the Barkskin... Here, so I've set it to an average of eight Barkskin stacks, so I assume that like we've been hit a couple times since we uh, got to full stacks. Um, realistically, we're usually at ten, but I'm just going to leave it at eight just to be kind of safe. Uh, without any Barkskin stacks, we have 77% physical damage reduction. With them, we have 88%. So it gives us... How much is that? It gives us 11,000 armor. Just having 8 stacks. Go up to 9 or 10, and we're well into like the four, 13, 14,000 armor territory now. Barkskin is actually like obscenely good, apparently. Of which I never realized. 
which is why I deallocated the two uh, Vivid Wisp things here, and we now have Wildwood Blessing. So, pick Oath of the Magi first. We have Bark Skin probably next, then Coated Blade for Tinctures, and then Detect Evil finally, last. Which is actually probably going to be really good, because we need to... Uh, uh, it's, it's hard to find things in the Wildwood, so being able to see where rare and unique enemies are will help you find, like, clusters of wisps a lot easier. So those are, like, the main build changes so far. Uh, we have managed to get up to 3.5 million DPS now with the advanced gear on. Uh, that does include having some more expensive things, like you have to have the the um, the uh, chest plate. Uh, there's a, a spell crit uh, implicit to get on Malgar's Ferocity. Uh, the Searing Exarch and Eater boots. The uh, just at the quality on the rings. Uh, the skill cost and reservation multi, which is the only reason we can use Skitterbots and Determination and Herald of Ash and Barkskin at the same time. Just stuff like that. I wanted to also remove Forbidden Flesh and Blame from the uh, uh, starter gear, but I can't do that very easily without it the path building freaking out a bit. Uh, I also add, finally added the Tinkster, that just was a uh, placeholder before, so it's just a straight fire damage pen, uh, culling strike, Tinkster. Nothing too complicated. And then if we go into the advanced version, I picked a slightly better culling strike, fire pen, Tinkster, with chance for enemies to explode, just because explosions are fun. <laughs> Everyone likes explosions. And car chases, as I've been told. Okay, so those are the main updates for the Holy Flame Totem build. If you're on YouTube, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And for those on Twitch, let us get back to the rest of the stream. So, first thing we need to do. We have two Ascendancies only. We badly, badly need our other Ascendancies. Uh, Ritual Awakening would help us a lot. Uh, same with Conviction of Power. We're starting to struggle a little bit on survivability, so I'm probably going to go for Conviction of Power first for the four Endurance Charges. But, first things first, we have to go to the lab. So, we're going to, we're going to go through the lab now. And I'm really excited because this is our first... I mean, the Merciless Lab, so the third lab. Fuck! I forgot to get the trials! <laughs> okay. Hold on one second. <laughs> Let's go with the trials. Um, but I'm, it's going to be pretty awesome because the uh, third lab and fourth lab, I believe, have more options for transfiguring gems. So it's going to be pretty cool being able to see that. Okay. Whoa. Why are you being so laggy? Okay. And I went the wrong way. <laughs> I'm never good at navigating the tunnels. They always confuse me. But somewhere back towards the start... Okay, yeah, so this... Oh, I went the wrong way. I was supposed to go to the right, I guess, from the quarry. I'm not used to a horizontal layout like this. So I guess it's basically a V, where you come in from the top right and you leave the top left. I don't think I've even seen this layout before. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. A little scuffed, but we're fine. <laughs> I 
is in the corner. Oh, this this is such a weird, like, windy route. We have, like, a pirate hook route right now. Oh, this is it. There we go. Okay. So we have the trial here. I could swear I got this already, but... I mean, I, I guess I don't, because I don't have it, but... Ah! Okay, I need to actually pay attention and not just be fucking around, because I'm <laughs> I'm just getting my, my head sawed off and ignoring that fact. Cool. Gonna do a quick trade first. Uh, so the next thing we're gonna do is go to a go to the ossuary and pick up the very last trial because I'm already done. I'm already through all the quests that are in the campaign. Uh, I've already killed Katav and stuff. Y'all don't need to see that. Y'all have seen that over and over and over. Katav is boring. But what is interesting? Oftentimes, it's the lab. Much more so this league, because we're going to actually see some cool transfigured stuff now. I have some quality gems that are leveling right now, so that we can immediately convert them uh, in the lab into just something. I managed to make a 15% uh, Ice Nova of Deep Freezing, which is like a 50% chance. Oh yes, right there! It's like a 50% chance to freeze. It's amazing. Also expensive, which is nice. I like expensive things. Who doesn't like expensive things? Oh, did I say hi to you, Han? Hi, Han! I think I forgot. I apologize. Cool. Money! Yay! I'm not very... I'm not very wealthy, so I need it. Okay, back to the Riot Square. And to the ossuary. <laughs> At least I'm not loading into a town. Town load times have been atrocious lately. I'm doing the Wildwood, though. Uh, I only have two of the ascent, are two sets of the ascendancy points from the warden. So, if I get the chance to get more, I would really appreciate that. I don't know what the rest of the Ascendancy stuff is you need to do for the Warden, but hoping to find that out. Oh, I don't really want to go for purple. I, I, I want blue. Or, no, I don't want blue. I want yellow. The Vivid Empowered thing. Bungle Reaver. Hello. Woo, okay. I just got hit a few times and like my bark skin's at about ten. It's it's really it's really effective. It's like crab barriers, but not awful. And also way more accessible. Wow, that was a shitty wildwood. I'm trying to avoid the purple stuff. The um, vivid primal. What's can't remember what the third one is. The purple one. Oh, right, wild. Okay, there was just a wild mob there. I'm trying to avoid wild just because it seems to all be chaos damage, or at least heavily chaos damage orientated, and you know, I don't want that. 
I have like negative fifty two percent chaos res right now. Actually, no, I have higher than average chaos res for this build currently because of my. No, never mind. Do I just suck at chaos? Yes, I just suck at chaos. Okay. I had a uh, chaos resistance ring. I'd really love to get that amulet, though, that gives you max life for empty uh, sockets. Because, uh, like, a, again, a single white socket on one of these pieces uh, would mean that I could take the uh, all res off of the, uh, the planned... Uh, off of the planned ring, which means that I could put Chaos Res on that ring, which would be very nice. Because Chaos is currently my weakness, and you are going to encounter more of it than usual with uh, Wildwood. Plus, plus now Ultimatum's back, and you know how much Ultimatum loves Chaos damage. Doing abyss, doing an abyss, going off to doing abyss. Going to get some rare mobs coming out of the butthole in the ground. Abyss butthole. Oh my gosh, I forgot about a bussy! I just remembered that! Oh, Ron is going to be so disappointed. <laughs> I know some people were hoping I would forget about Bussy. <laughs> or I guess technically it's Abyssy, but... <laughs> oh, some good news, though, for those who've been watching the streams for a while. Uh, I have just changed the uh, way that... Uh, music's working for the streams so the music is going to be a bit more varied and a bit better now the the tldrs i made a playlist and i have a it shuffles so i don't have to worry about like random shit popping up like that one halloween song that screams where the fuck? Wait, I already did the trial. Why am I here? <laughs> I go into D&D &D mode. I don't have any... Uh... I don't have anything expensive for sale right now anyways. Okay, going to pop into the Sanctum. Get my first relic. Wait. Oh, relic locker. Wait. I am going to plop in the tutorial one and pop that in. And then I'm going to close this and never come back. <laughs> Just leave that there and now the quest will no longer be a problem. Aspirin's Plaza! Now! Now we can go. And I also have a offering for the Fort Lab, the Uber Lab, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, Merc Lab. So we need to go to... Oh, I'm looking at this in the wrong order. Uh, oh, there's a Dark Shrine in the first area. Okay, so somewhere in this level there's a Dark Shrine. I'm going to go for a bunch of the Dark Shrines, because I ideally would like to be able to get multiple uses of the Divine Font if I can find it. Which means that we're going to see more Transfigured Gem stuff, so I'm going to try to go for that, see if we can get lucky.
feel like it's probably going to be here to the south. Usually over in an area like this. Yep, right there. Recognize this layout. Wait, there's just a hidden coffer in here. Oh! <laughs> there's two rooms! I forgot about that. I, or, I forgot that was even a possibility. Ooh, impenetrable shrine. Uh, 80, oh, 84% physical damage reduction now, 25% evade chance, and I got an extra 1,000 energy shield. Okay, this is going to be a lot easier now. <laughs> okay. Oh, only one path. Uh, Argus is here, but I don't give a shit. Uh, I'm going to go not for the Aspirin's trial immediately. I'm going to avoid that and... Oh god, Argus! Um, am I strong enough? I think so. Okay. That was a... That was something I did... Uh, a risk I didn't really want to take, but... I mean, that worked out. I got an extra treasure key. That's pretty nice. Okay, mansion passage, good. So, I'll have to come back here to get to the Aspirin's Trial, but there's a dark shrine in this area now. So, I'm going to wander off this way. Should be, like, right over here. Just based on the layout. Yep, there it is. So the worthy of the spoils. Ooh. I don't recognize that one. Oh. Zara will drop an additional unique on death. That's useless. <laughs> Whatever. It's out of the pool of things we can get now, so maybe the next Dark Shrine will be better. There are four dark shrines in the lab today. I don't know if it's always like that, but there are four dark shrines. Uh, though they're not till after the second tryout now, so I can kind of just ignore that. Let me, okay, let me move this around so I can actually re see Twitch chat and the labyrinth thingy. There we go. Oh, this is a gauntlet. That's what's going on. That was a rather painless gauntlet. Cool. First trial. I should be fairly... F I should be fine with this Argus. Or this Izaro. Oh, yeah, no, I'm definitely fine. Okay, well, I'll push through this quickly, and... Zaro, you're dead. Can you, like, just stop? Thank you. I'll push through this lab quickly, and we can see what the transfiguration is we get. I am excited. I'm sure we'll get something great. Okay, so we want to go, let's see, 
Okay, so now that we're here, we're looking for a room with a statue that will give us a shortcut. Oh. Okay. I don't want that because it will reduce the number of treasure keys I get. I don't need it. I've yet to find a situation where any of those, like, actually really matter. They might make the difference if you're, like, really, like, if you're really not strong. And you're just kind of chancing it with Izaro, but with doing the lab, but I don't know. They don't seem to make much of a difference to me. The fact that I don't even totally remember what they are definitely suggests that they're not important. Okay, so we're looking for a statue somewhere. Statue? 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 Statue! <laughs> uh, wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold on! What? <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna clip that. What the fuck just happened? Okay, so this 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 statue just moved backwards and then there was a completely clean version that melded out of it. I don't think that's supposed to happen. Gonna gonna go on a limb and say it's not supposed to happen. Oh, I also leveled up. I didn't even notice. Actually, hold on. Let me allocate. Cool, I can get some more block chance. My block chance is up to 75% chance to block attacks and 24% chance to block spells, which is wonderful because that means I'm basically always going to have the 15% fire pen from Martyr of Innocence up, which is actually where I got some of my damage boost was I've now selected that as always being up because I'm going to be blocking most things now. Oh, that was actually a big risk in case that was a freeze one. Trial. Cool. Second one. Rush in. Kill the fucker. And it's done. Okay, so there is a silver vault here. I don't really care about that. But I do care about the dark shrine right here. <gasps> Vice Blast! Yay! You will receive an additional use of the Divine Font! Unfortunately, there's not really much value to transfiguring my main gem, but... Oh well. Uh, so we want to go to the top right-hand corner of this area. Top left leads to the silver key area. I don't really care about that. I don't know what the likelihood is of getting a grand spectrum from the labyrinth, but I don't know if I really care to go through and deal with all the silver keys just for the sake of maybe getting that. Maybe if I was stronger, but I'm not. 
Okay, so top right is the third trial, but I ideally... Actually, there's no point going for the uh, for the last uh, Dark Shrine, because I have all the stuff I need now. I can't get twice blessed, and I don't need more auras to kill this guy. So I can just rush it now. Glad I got twice blessed on the second one, rather than having to rush all the way over to the... Okay, it's to the left here. Rush all the way over to the fourth one, too. Should be right here? Yeah. There we are. But an emperor must keep their promises. Oh, shit. There we go. And leaving. Before something hits me. Cool. That's... Oh, it was only two treasure keys. Eh, whatever. Ooh, that was nice. And before I forget, ascend. I'm gonna go for conviction so that I get some extra... Extra protection. Okay. Hmm. Add 50 million experience to a gem. That would immediately push my Holy Flame Totem to the next level. Hmm. It's more non-transfigured skill them to be a ram-transfigured version. Yeah, I don't actually have a... I don't have a gem in mind to do that with, that I, I'm like, yeah, this one I definitely want to convert. Actually, the stone golem. No, the stone golem. I'm going to do the stone golem. Because... Stone golem of hordes. Yeah, that's probably going to be valuable. Let's see. Stone Golem of Hordes is... 8 or 9 Chaos. Yeah, that was definitely worth it. I was hoping for the safeguarding one, but that's fine. Sacrifice a gem to gain 20% of the gem's total experience stored as fast as lens. Make a random trans transfigured gem. Add experience. Uh, I don't think I have any decent... I don't think I have any decently high level gems sack, so I'm gonna probably just take the XP. And the quality isn't worth it. Because the quality for Holy Flame Time only gives you projectile speed. But that's not not a big deal. Wait, did I send? I sent it, okay. And I should have hit 75 now or 76? Just hear the stupid little minion microtransaction singing. Oh, I love them. Oh yeah, they're right over here. They're so cute. Ah, oh, pirate song. Uh, okay, what was I doing? Yeah, 75. Okay, so I'm now the same level as the Uber Lab. We'll see how this goes. If I if I play this well, I think I'll be fine. Uh, if I fuck up, I might have an issue. <laughs> yeah, I think I think as long as I'm careful, I should be fine. But I have to be careful. Ooh, also, better XP than the level 75 area. I'm at 20% right now, so we'll see how long it takes to, to level up. Okay, so there's a Dark Shrine in this first area. This we need the Dark Shrines in 
Because, I mean, we might get a nice Dark Shrine effect, and or we might get a nice um, effect that like gives us extra transfigurations or something, but realistically, we need an aura more. Okay, what's this? Is that Void Fletcher? Not Void Fletcher, is that? It's Soul Strike. Okay. Fuck! <laughs> uh, that must have been a bleed, because that scared the shit out of me. Uh, okay, so... We're going to want to go to the top right-hand corner anyways. Not there, because that's just Argus. Uh, still want that Dark Shrine, though. Okay, so this is the right way. We just need to find the Dark Shrine now. Right here, okay. Let my totems take care of that. Brutal Shrine! Okay, that's gonna be nice. Not, not, like, not one of the ideal ones, but it's still gonna be pretty damn good. I mean, no, no, that's actually quite good. <laughs> I could have gotten, like, extra treasure key or extra unique drop, which both, like, both would suck. The treasure keys just are, tend to be shit, in my opinion. Okay, top right is Aspirin's Trial, but we need to go to the mid top middle to get through this golden door. Should be here. Yep. Golden key. Remember to drink water, everyone. Okay, no. I need to not... I need to not do this the stupid way. Okay. I need to be careful with traps, because, like, that's one of the things that often kills me. Okay, Inspiration of Meat Shield are leveling up. Oh, I guess I don't even have to level... Inspiration or uh, meat shield support anymore. Since I'm not going to even be bothering with. Oh, mm, I don't know if I want to do a possessed rare. Oh, nope. Totem's out with it. Cool. Uh, how hard is this lab trap to get to? Ow. Wah! Okay. That was kind of shitty, but I mean the in the intention there was to hopefully get um a forbidden or grand spectrum. So I mean, the chance of getting a grand spectrum is very low. I imagine. I don't actually know for sure what it is, but like what the chance is, but I cannot imagine it's high. Okay, I got that one. Got that. Let's 
gonna jump down here, grab that, push back up. Okay, good. That was enough. Maybe I should get knockback on my totems normally, because they it actually seems really nice. There must be a golden door. Okay. I really like what the bark skin does. It's so cool watching it stack up. Why is gold liberating? I don't get that. Maybe because it means you have money? Okay, I'm gonna let my bark skin tick up. Cool. Thank you. Does that mean you're gonna stop attacking me? Nope, apparently not. You're definitely done. There we go. Yeah, I think I'm in most danger of doing something stupid and getting myself killed on a trap right now. So, apparently there is a secret passage here. And that secret passage will lead to... Silver Vault area, which I can go through to get to the end. Well, I guess I might as well have a... Wait. That's a normal treasure key. That's not a silver key. Oh. Cool. I mean, I prefer that, because I don't have to chase on the vault. Okay, but in, apparently in the top left here, there's going to be some sort of something. Look for sarcophagus room leads to room seven. Okay. I doubt it's over there. Oh, I just haven't seen it yet. Look for sarcophagus. We don't want the normal door right now. We want specifically the one that goes through the sarcophagus. I think that's faster. Um, what the fuck is this hell? Uh, you know what? If I spend too much time doing this, it will not be faster. So I'm just going to go through. Okay, so there... Actually, no, it was worth it, because there's a Dark Shrine here anyways. Dark Shrine here, and the far right-hand corner is where the... Aspen's Trial is. Okay, I'm gonna let my bark stack up again, because I don't really trust this area. Cautiousness is important. I mean, I am going to be, I'm much stronger now and much more durable now that I have the endurance charges, but Wait, does durable come from the root word endure? I know that's like like so random, but I tend to like uh, etymology, the study of where words come from. I just realized that the uh, uh, dur in durable 
Sounds like the dir in indur. Oh, leave me alone. Okay, take it back. Knockback is kind of annoying with uh, these totems. <laughs> Yeah, so that's definitely not the right way anyways, but still, Dark Shrine. Hi, Byro. Thanks. I'm doing Uber Lab. Trying to find a Dark Shrine right now. Okay. Wait, actually, I should check over here because... Wait a minute. Yeah. Oh, no, this is this is a puzzle. I've Fuck puzzles. I don't do that. Don't do puzzles. Actually, there's a puzzle solution thing right here. Okay. I can probably do that, but I'm not going to do it now because I would that would literally just be me staring at something for a while while you waited for me. And I seriously doubt the rewards are worth that. Okay, it's here. So there's four Dark Shrines here as well. Uh, one of them I'm going to have to go off the main path to get, though. Let's see what this one gives us before I make that decision. Is that... Okay. Lever. Lever. I think this is just... Yeah, this is just a monster room. Here we are. Oh, to the worthy go the spoils. Is that extra treasure key? Additional unique. That's a dud. Ah, oh, whatever. Okay, second trial. They're like, hey everyone, we, we fixed a Zaro double talking now. Yeah, with other people only. It wasn't even that important of a bug to fix, and you still didn't fix it totally. Okay, you're dead. Stop stop wandering around, please. Okay, so we have a dark shrine here. So I'm going to take the south route. I always try to follow the right wall when I'm trying to find the exit. But here, when I'm trying to find a dark shrine, I always follow the left wall. Because usually the right wall it brings you to the end. And the left wall doesn't, so that would be where the dark shrine is, generally. we go. I can't wait to get the fourth ascendancy, because the fourth ascendancy is actually better than the ascendancy I picked, but the ascendancy I picked helps more with labyrinth traps specifically, and I was most worried about dying to those while on this route. Okay, so that's where we're going. Here it is. Heart quickens, blood thickens. 
less damage over time from lab traps. Yep. Okay, that is good, because there will be a lot of lab traps in the final area. Uh, I think... Oh, I don't have to go off the path to get to the last Dark Shrine. I'm going to go past it anyways. Okay. So, top left is where the next shrine is. Or, to, or where the next area is. Well, I guess that is also where the next shrine is, so... Uh, ah, nope. I hate it when you, like, accidentally start walking with the blade as it's chewing on your feet. Don't really know what that area was for. Okay, it should be this way, I think. Oh, horse chance, need those. Can buy more maps with them. And Kirak. Or I can convert them into orbs of scouring, which is often what I do with them. Okay, deal with those. Thank you. Okay, sanitarium. Cool. Okay. Uh, top right is the Aspirin's Trial, so... Dark Strand should be somewhere else. Okay. So that door we're seeing is the silver key area. Oh. I don't like this. Out. I really hope this was worth it. Please let this be where the Dark Shrine is. No! No! There was no point in me going here because I don't want that! Ugh. That's where the Silver Vault is. Can I double jump over here? Yeah, okay, good. I didn't get spiked. So this must be where it is. The silver... It's not silver. Um, uh, this thing. Silver Shrine. Yep, that makes sense. Definitely a Silver Shrine. Discover what lies within? Oh, uh, drop an additional treasure key. Uh, that sucks. Okay, well, whatever. I don't think I need to worry too much about this Azaro. I just need to keep my head on straight and pay attention, and I'll be fine. Hmm... Nine C. Cool. Dump, 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 dump. Cool. Okay. Summon all the totems. Flame wall for projectiles. Curse. Stay the fuck out of the way. Sneak in and grab the treasure keys. Get away! Wow. I got five treasure keys that time. I'm gonna open all of these. Ooh! Ooh, quality gems with levels! 
oh, that's going to be so nice for, for converting stuff in the at the divine font here. Perfect. That's everything I was hoping for. Tomorrow I was hoping for. Wait, I have two crafts? Why do I have two crafts? Uh, I don't really understand that one, but... Okay, so I could sack a Whirling Blades to get it as a faster lens. I don't know if that'd be better than the 30% directly to a gem. Yeah, 30% directly is probably better. It also doesn't use up anything. Sacrifice a gem for treasure keys. That's probably not worth it. Uh, what gem should I... Can I do support gems? I think so. At 8% quality. Well, if I add quality to this, I get faster cast, faster cast speed. 4% cast speed, 4% totem placement speed, 4% fire damage... 1% reduced mana cost. 8% increased critical strike chance. Hmm. Full effect duration. Ignite duration. Cooldown recovery. Overkill damage. Hmm. Oh no. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this 18-5 Whirling Blades, and I'm going to sack it. If I could get 30 million experience, that would be really nice. Ah, eh, whatever. I need money. Explosive Trap of Shrapnel, Tornado Shot of Cloud Burst, and Blink Air of Prismatic Clones. Well, I'm going to double check how much these are worth. Link Arrow Prismatic Clones is only a couple C. No, it's not even a couple C, it's one C. Nato Shot of Cloud Burst. Doesn't look like it's worth anything. I don't think it's worth anything. Maybe 2C because of its level? And then Explosive Trap of Shrapnel. Oh, that's immediately much more valuable. Okay, a level 14 one is 5 chaos. This is 18 with 5% quality. Okay, I'm definitely picking that. Cool. Now, let's actually price check this with the thingy. A level 19 with no quality is 28 chaos. A leveled one with quality is at least 50 chaos, apparently. So this is probably this is probably at least 30 chaos. Then I'm gonna say, yeah, I'm gonna put this at 30. That's actually that was a really good choice. I'm glad that it gave me that option. Then we just have the other crap. Don't know if any of these are worth anything. We'll see. I'll go through them later, though. I'm not going to make you wait for me.
That's not bad. Memory Vault. Don't know. I don't think this is worth much. Nah. Mark a submission. Not really worth much. Okay. Oh, right. I have to ascend. That's kind of important. Cool. I'm fully ascended now. That's going to help. Will help a lot with my survivability. I was a level up too at some point. No, just most of a level. Okay, we are going to go on a short break for information, and when we get back, we are going to do some mapping. I might even have a surprise for you. We'll see. Be back soon.
Hey again, everyone. So, I took a little bit of extra time with the intermission because I was really hoping to get a tier 16 map uh, for us to try out as, like, our first map. Technically, I already did one, but, like, I had the first map on stream, and, yeah. Just like we did in the Krangled League. The only problem is this. This is how many people I messaged. No, n zero responses. <laughs> Apparently no one wants to sell tier 16s under 3 chaos. <laughs> or under 4 chaos. Oh well. Oh, actually, we might be able to do a unique one, maybe. We got a unique one. Oh, there is an Omex Sanctum. Two. There we go. Okay, apparently people are okay selling unique ones. Wanted to avoid all mech sanctum, but this it'll be fine. Wait, no, not this one. No, I was avoiding a different one, okay. Okay, first first stream map of the league. Tier 16, Olmec Sanctum. I'm level 75. I'm very much not ready for this. I did technically already do a Tier 1, but we're going to forget about that one single Tier 1. That mistake I did for Kirek. And we're going to do Tier 16 first, just like we did in the Krangled League. This is going to be really super dangerous. <laughs> Oh, they killed my totems. Ooh! We good? This is gonna get dodgy really quick. Okay, we're at 81%. Run away. We can't get hit by anything. Or we're just like fu completely fucking dead. Nope. Whoa. Yeah, we're so very dead if we get hit. Whoa. Whoa. Big lag. Yeah, I'd rather have it when there's nothing on screen, at least. Right over here. Oh, a vermilion ring. Nice. There's a ghost over there. I'm going to wait for that to go away. Okay. We're good. No spiders? Nope, still some of those, though. The boss room's going to be the worst, too. Because we're going to walk into the boss room and everything's going to be everywhere. Okay, we need to run really quickly now in a circle. <laughs> ah! Okay, that's everything except for the boss. That's fine. Yep, yep, no, you can get the boss. You can totally do it. Go, my totems, go! Maybe I just need to not walk near where my totems are. No, 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 ignore me! Oh! Let's 
It's cool that we got a level 85 item base uh, vermilion. I can totally graph that into something. All the stuff is level is item level 85. Ooh, I should grab some of the good stuff then. See if we got any good rolls on it. Okay. Uh, gonna go clockwise. Okay, it's still not dead, surprisingly. Got like 10% of the experience already for a quarter of the map. Oh, oh, this is the chaos section. That's gonna go great. <laughs> The section that I have negative resistances to. The other ones I have... I have 75% uh, all my resistances. Except chaos. This is going to be the really dangerous one. Nope. Okay, let's do that. And then boop. I know it's safe because the totems will stop firing. Get him. Get him, totems. Get him. I don't know what you're fighting, but get him. <laughs> oh, it's a uh, rare. Cool. Hello. I need danger, friends. Little squirrel's nice. People who are doing tier 16 maps normally are not worried about poor little squirrels. <laughs> But, I mean, I don't have much of anything, so... I mean, they're ready for it. I am not ready for this. I am doing this because it's funny. And I really enjoyed the challenge the first time we did it in uh, Crangled. Okay, if I can survive, I'll actually level up here. If not, I'm just gonna get, like, fucking destroyed repeatedly, but besides that... No, I can't even get clipped. I can't even get clipped. If I get clipped, I'm fucked. Okay, I have to stay away from where my totems are. Okay. Okay, just make sure there's no... Waiting to make sure there's no bad ground. I don't know if these bases are worth anything. Just because it's the start of the league. I mean, they might be. It's possible. But I don't think any of this, any of these pieces of gear... Whoa! Ooh! No, oh, that's a almost max rolled tier 1 spell damage on a Void Scepter, which is the best scepter. Or best... Uh, flat elemental damage scepter. It's one of the highest. Ooh, that's worth something. Oh, that's a 134% hubris circlet. That's nice. The drill neck's probably not worth anything. No, it's not. Okay. Third area. That's where the problems are. We're there. Nope. Leaving. Leave me alone. I'm squishy. I squeak like a plush toy if you hit me, so don't hit me. Uh, I'll deal with this room first, since I can stick totems in it immediately. Okay, run away. Got you. Okay. Okay, ah, uh, nope. Nope, those are, those are small fireballs, but they're still dangerous. Okay, 
Uh, guard by a pack of magic monsters. Okay, drop some stuff down. Run. No, no, no. Goat after me. No, ang no, bad goat. No, oh no. I don't know what that is, but fuck that. Oh, it's the blues, that's why. Maybe I've made a terrible error. Maybe. We'll see. Depends whether I die to this or not. Nope, hide in the corner. Okay, now I got another one. Ooh. Ooh, just barely. There's still something here. Ah, there. There we go. I'm gonna go back for the other stuff. Try to kill as much as I can without being anywhere near it. <laughs> I think there's a necromancer or something here. Maybe there was. Okay, that's good. I'm at 99% now. <laughs> oh, I'm in danger. I'm in horrible, horrible danger. Everything's fine. I'm just gonna die. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah, that's not a good base. Neither really is that. Okay, that's a bit more stuff to do. Uh, portal scroll. Yes! Okay, 76. At least I won't lose XP if I die. If I die. Man, I'm... <laughs> When I die, probably. This is a pretty... If I manage to do a tier 16 without dying, I will be astounded. At this level and level and power of the build. It's a good build, but it's also not properly set up yet. Can I get myself anything else with this? Uh, what, is there anything I can give myself that will, like, give me an immediate boost? Uh, hmm. Don't think so, based on what I'm seeing. This will give me something. Okay, fourth area. We've cleared three quarters of this map, and I still have yet to die. That is ridiculous. No, no. No. No, leave me alone. No. No. You can just leave me alone now. Yes. Okay. Okay. How about in here? good. Okay. Stick stuff in there. Long, easy to shoot down corridors are concerning. 
Oh, there's a door there. <laughs> oh, there's nothing left here, okay. I don't have to figure out that much. Okay. Hiding. Ah. Ah. These sparks are doing so much fucking damage. No, 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 leave me alone. <laughs> oh. Skin of my teeth. Skin of my teeth. Oh my gosh. Uh, that is a very bad venture scamble. Check the heavy belt. Eh, it's worth holding on to. Uh, I don't care about the ropes markers. Not that much. Okay, we've made it to the final boss of the tier 16 map. Alive. How? I have no idea. Okay, I've gotta put... Oh, he has minions too. That's not good. That's bad for me. wonder if I kill the minions if they respawn or not. I hope not, because... That could just just destroy me. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. No, everything's good. No, just just like the incidental attacks from from the uh, attacking the totems are enough to kill me. No, 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 no. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Oh, I killed them. Kill them. Can I kill the other ones? Oh my gosh, I just did a tier 16 deathless. At level 75. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm 76 now, leveled up during the thing. Holy shit! And there's a bunch of, like, really high, t high item level stuff. Oh, there's all level item level 89. Fuck. Okay, I guess I'm going to put everything I can in my inventory, and then I'll just come back for it. <laughs> Holy shit, I can't believe I did that. I'm just going to throw all of this into one thing together. Sort it all later. You don't need to watch that. You don't need to watch my sorting montage. Yeah, I'm going back to get some more bases, though, because more base gear sounds great. The five socket clip staff, a Praetor crown, stealth boots, opal scepter, beard wand, clean dagger, I'll have to say this garb. Goliath Greaves, another Clip Staff, Ancient Greaves, Demon Horn. Should be more or less good. There's another Demon Horn. Okay, I'm going to say that's probably everything that's of value. I'll grab this Laris Crown too, why not? Ooh. Let's just take a quick look at what any if there's like anything really cool in this list stuff we grabbed. Oh, that is a almost max rolled tier one elemental damage with attacks on the clip staff. Don't know if that's worth anything, but Uh, is there... There is only one on the market that's this strong, just an item level 86 staff with this, and it's 6 chaos. Wow. Uh, not very good, not very good. That's a lot of evasion, but otherwise it's shit. I guess I'm going to throw stuff in the high stuff. And it's all kind of bleh. 
Nothing crazy. Okay. Oh. Uh, nope, still nothing crazy. Cool. Man. So I can't believe we did a tier 16 death list, because... We used up all six lives in Crangled to do a tier 16, and we did not kill the boss. Though, admittedly, that was a Minotaur. But I can't really afford to buy a Minotaur map right now, which is why I went for just a uh, Almec Sanctum, which is just a cheap, unique map, but... Fuck. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Okay, let's just do some normal maps now. Something... A little bit more reasonable. Here, a core map. That sounds good. Oh my gosh, I got an Einhar mission. Cause, uh, red Einhar mission for that. I don't have any yellow missions yet, and I already have a red mission. <laughs> I think that also means that I'm going to get a full set of red missions. Uh, when the day rolls over next for tomorrow, I believe you get a full set of missions for each t each color tier you go through in that in the day before, or at least the the last tier you get. No, I don't want purple. I want. I don't want purple. I really would like to see yellow or blue. Wisps, thank you very much. No, nope, I don't care. Give me blue. Or yellow. Or blue. Actually, yellow. Oh, good. I see yellow. Okay, I prefer yellow. Oh, is they're gone now? No. Nope. Yes. Oh, oh, blue. Blue. Lots of blue. There's some yellow, too. Okay. Oh, cool. So I found an area, a reward area here. Kind of sad, because I was really hoping to find a merchant, but this is okay. Um, oh, I can't open any of these. Is that because the area is done? Or is just none of these openable? Whatever. Pop into the darkness. So if y'all didn't know, when uh, when you leave the forest with wisps that you have that are unspent, they get dispersed amongst all of the creatures in the map. And it gives them quantity, rarity, or something else, depending on the color. I can't remember what it all is, but it just makes your maps more effective. Even if you don't want the, or it makes them more rewarding. So even if you don't actually care about like the the merchants, you can just run through, get as much many wisps as possible, and then leave. That is another valid strategy. Strategy. <laughs> Ooh, a brush paint and palette! Nice! That's one piece of the artist. The artist is a, uh, ele a 11 div card set for getting... Um, for getting a level 4 enhance. That's what it was. Is that a Marlene's? Oh, it, oh, it's a decently well-rolled Marlene's, too. It's a 230 instead of a... It's 210 to 240, and that's a 230. Oh, max roll evasion. Max roll light radius. Neither of those matter, but still, it's nice. High rolled accuracy. High rolled... It's all really good. 
How much is a 230? Uh, a couple C. That's not bad. Let's get some extra quad from the Wisps. Where am I going? Gotta go find Chevron and the other artist dude with the scissor fingers. Victario. Victario? Victario. Thanks, Victario. Well, okay, they just call him the Prodigy of Pain, but it's Victario. Or whatever the fuck his name is. And we are so much more durable now that we have our endurance charges and a huge amount of regen from our having our totems up. We always have mana because of the mana regen from our totems. Um, what does Echoing Shrine do? For it doesn't spawn more totems. Does it attack faster? I don't know. I don't... I don't know if the Echoing Shrine has any benefit for me. just is annoying because of my travel skills being duplicated. Oh boy, a duplicate flame wall. I definitely need more than one of those. That definitely helps. I mean, I guess it's useful if you point it the right direction. So it's hard enough to dash without running into a wall, nonetheless dash twice without running into a wall. Man, nah, go away. No. Leave me alone. Yeah. Okay. Conservatory, my first tier three. Man, tier 3 is going to be such a high tier to do. Can't imagine how much how much more different it's going to be. <laughs> I'm just being sarcastic as we just did a tier 16, but... <laughs> uh... Oh, my inventory is completely full. Uh, nope. 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 Uh, nope. Grab you too. And Malagaro's up here. Oh, I'm sure she. I'm sure he's like the shaper of pain or something, though. The Grim Spectre. Hey, incarnate. Eater of souls. Okay, that's what his name is. No, you don't. Yep. Get melted. You little butthole. Malago Malagaro is such an edgelord. Oh my gosh. Ow. 
And he's also an entitled prick. <laughs> Mm, not good bone ring. Heavy belt. Oh, please die in, in quiet. I would appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, hmm. Titan gauntlets. Can be good, but those aren't. Okay. To home. And verily. I, I don't know what verily actually means. <laughs> hmm. Jackson, should I go? I do I do like the Dune stuff, but I don't want to go for Einhar because I can pick up the uh, Einhar remains in your map one, and then just I just have a friend with buffs, and uh, I have my own little shitty aura bot. <laughs> I mean that's that's also what uh, Huck is too. So I don't think this is valuable. No, it's not. I put the Marlins up for chaos or something. Oh, right, I haven't done a Kirak mission, so I don't have anything from him yet. Why are you still only at tier 3? I just did a tier 16. Shouldn't, shouldn't you have registered that? Hmm. I guess if I do a tier 3, then he'll start giving tier 4s. So I'm going to skip and do the observatory. Put a single chisel on it. Transmute and go. I'm going to use up the missions later when I actually have plans for them. Wildwood. Oh. Come on, stop lagging. Ooh, purple. No, I need to leave the purple alone. Ooh, yellow. Lots of yellow. Okay. Okay. There's more yellow back there if I need it. I really want to find a warden because I need my third warden quest, whatever it is. Okay, there's more over here. It's really not much, though. Oh. Oh. God damn it, this is a purple area, isn't it? Okay, hold on. Uh, I can go over here now. Let's try this. Okay. Well, it's good, but I really would like a place to spend the wisps, ideally. And also, I want to see the warden for warden-related matters. Just, Just warden things, you know. Ooh. Lots of yellow. Oh. <sighs> Gosh, fluff and darn it. Okay, is there any other wisps I can grab quick? Yep, there is. Grab all of you. Cool. Lots of wisps to be dispersed. Oh, rituals. Nice. Do I care to do rituals? I guess. 
I can hide over here. Oh, that's interesting. There's uh, empowered mobs in the ritual. So I guess they get empowered later. Not like not when the the wisps disperse initially. Nope. What am I missing? Oh, there's a single spider here. No. And a turret and a paint thing. Pain totem, that's what they're called. My honor to everyone watching to uh, follow the stream if you're enjoying yourself. We also have a YouTube channel, which you can uh, subscribe to to see our VODs as well as the more curated content. Also, if you're trying to get the Twitch drops, like the uh, new uh, lion pet for Path, definitely make sure that uh, you're getting progress on that, because I think that stops on Friday. I'm streaming again on Thursday, though, so if you need to get more progress for it, you can do it then as well. Whoa. I keep seeing... Oh. Oh, the wisp disperse from you! That's how we're getting them later! They're attached to you, and then they attach to monsters that you get near, I think. Oh, that's cool. Okay, gonna rush into the boss room. Is yep, yeah, okay, good. There is a ritual in here. Just gotta make sure the boss dies in the ritual circle. Otherwise it'd be kind of annoying. Thankfully this is not a hard boss. Okay, Praxis, whatever the sword's called. Violent ritual. I just put down the totems and then just, like, spam the uh, flame walls on top of it. So that what, regardless what direction it's facing, it's gonna flame- it's gonna go through the flame wall, probably. Ooh, Eldritch Ickers. Good, good, I need those. Let's go find the last- last ritual. Uh, we are actually going to be ending the stream fairly soon. We're about 2 hours and 15 minutes in. And I have some other work. Got an early morning tomorrow, and uh, I have a video I want to produce and put out tomorrow as well. Slotha's rad Ravenous Rage. What is that? It, did I, it is it something I finished? Must be. What's this? Defeat rare unique monsters of each type. Okay, so I defeated 50 rare unique monsters of Primal, Vivid, and Wild. Okay. 
have been appreciating the fact that I haven't really looked at any of the challenges, and I'm already at 10. It's really nice when the challenges actually coincide properly with gameplay, rather than just, like, making these weird, esoteric, random things that you otherwise, like... Some of them are just hard to even come by. Like, ah, oh, make sure you defeat a Breach Lord with the Shrine Effect on. Like, how the... How the fuck am I going to make that work? I can control the where I can somewhat control shrines and I can somewhat control breaches, but I can't exactly make sure that they're in the same spot. Uh also ritual wear. Did I I must have walked by a ritual or so, something at some point cuz I miss I'm missing it. There's a, there's a fourth somewhere. Oh, here it is. Okay, I don't really know what happened there, but whatever. Hiding in the corner away from skill effects. No, I can't do that. Oh no, oh god. <laughs> Eh. Um, there you are. I wonder where the last guy was. Okay, ooh, Chaos Orb, nice. I like Chaos Orbs. <laughs> oh, decent movement speed boots, bad resistances. There's bleed avoidance on there. Oh, that's a special one. I haven't seen Blade of Wands on boots before. That's... 400 evasion rings pretty good. Okay, let's try... Hmm. That's actually probably worth something. There's actually quite a few things here I want. Uh, we'll see what I can afford. Okay. I'm gonna grab the the stuff I know is just straight up currency. That stuff is the easiest to deal with. This I'm gonna defer it in case I have nothing else at another point. And I will... No, I can't defer it. Okay. Cool. Okay, gonna grab Einhar for hunting season. At, oh, I'm getting counterweight now, which is a really strong, strong uh, passive skill. 60 global crit chance, 30 global crit multi. Very good. I know I've I know I've actually allocated it before, like as a uh, anointment too. It's that good. Mm hmm. Nah, didn't get anything too good. Oh well. Did get the Eldritch Ickers, though, which is really, really nice. If these were better boots, I would put an Eldritch Icker on this boot. Or these boots. Yes, I'll put an Icker on a single boot. The other boot can't have it, but one can. As a treat. <laughs> no, I want to get something with a little better resistances and movement speed. Uh, uh, someone actually gave me these boots. They have two Tier 1 life rolls and... They have almost a hundred max life, which is so awesome. If that person is here, thank you. You know who you are. Okay. I'll deal with all this crap later. Do we have any div cards turning? No, we do not. Okay. And we got a lot of loot this time. 
So thank you all for coming to the stream. I really appreciate it. For those on YouTube, if you can remember to like, comment, and subscribe, it really helps me out. And you'll be able to comment and say what you like in what you'd like to see in future videos, and I might be able to help you with that. Uh, for those on Twitch, follow if you haven't already followed. Thank you all to everyone who is here and has been here. I really appreciate you, and it makes streaming fun having an audience. So thank you for coming. I appreciate the time that you all put in to be here for my streams. Oh, you're welcome, Pyro. I'll be back on Thursday at the normal time, same time as tonight. And yeah, make sure you get your Twitch drops. Have a good day, everyone. And I'm going to try not to punch the mic. <laughs> good night.